Hey everyone, I'm TrackerTD, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the latest versions of the Sonic Retro Engine decompilations, specifically Sonic 1, 2, and CD. In this tutorial, we'll be building Sonic CD, because I have a feeling that in the near future, that'll be the one that people are itching to build the most. I've decided to do this because the latest versions introduced new compilation instructions that are... a little confusing. They've also introduced new checks that will be used by mods to lock access to Sonic Origins Plus content. I think this is a pretty sensible way to deter piracy of Origins stuff like Amy and Knuckles in Sonic CD, and it's almost identical to the method used to gate off Plus content in the Sonic Mania decompilation. In particular, some very popular mods are set to implement these checks, because they happen to unintentionally preempt Origins features, such as the extremely popular Sonic the Hedgehog CD and Knuckles mod, now known as Sonic CD Miracle Edition. As far as I know, to use these mods going forward, you will need to have a copy of the decomp that you have built yourself, so that the checks get marked as disabled, even if you don't plan to use an Origins data file with the decomps. First of all, we're going to need to download some things. One of the main things you're going to need is Git for Windows. This is so we can easily clone GitHub projects to our PC, which is basically necessary for building these decompilations, for obvious reasons. We're also going to need CMake, a tool for building software in the command line. We'll grab that from the CMake website. When you're installing it, make sure to add the path access thing it asks for, for all users or current user or whatever, so you can use CMake from anywhere. At least, I think that's what it means. It'll make life easier in the long run. With those two installed, you'll need to make sure you've got Visual Studio 15 update free, or later. I just use Visual Studio 2022 because it's the most readily available. Finally, we're going to need to grab something called VCPKG, or VC Package, or whatever it's called. To do that, we'll actually use Git for Windows. Let's open a CMD window by typing CMD into the folder address bar while we're in the folder that we want to clone the projects into. For example, I have a dedicated folder for my GitHub projects called, well, GitHub, so I'm going to clone the projects there by typing CMD in the address bar at the top while I'm in that folder. So first, we'll clone the Sonic CDD compilation using the command listed on the GitHub page for it, which I'll also pop in the description. You can see me popping it on the screen now. It's important to include the recursive part, and that's why I'm using Git for Windows and not GitHub Desktop or something. I want to make sure I get this part right. The recursive part's important because it will also mean that you grab the sub-modules you'll need to build the project. It won't grab the dependencies that CD requires, but we'll get those in a moment. Okay, with Sonic CD grabbed, let's actually get VC package or PKG or whatever. To do that, we'll just open the command prompt and do another git clone command, this time for the VC package repository. That will now download VC PKG for us, but it won't install it. So we'll just run the installer by simply clicking on the batch file. For some reason, the GitHub page says to run this through the command line, but you really don't need to. Just click the batch file, it'll be fine. We've now installed VCPKG, and we can use it to get the dependencies that we're going to need to actually build Sonic CD. Let's install those dependencies using VCPKG by opening command line in its folder and using the command that's in the description and that's also on the GitHub page, the one I'm putting in on the screen now. If you're wondering what the triplet thing is about, it's nothing to do with a throne that awaits, or a seer that warns of a deadly fate. It's actually just the environment that you're building the software for. For example, I'm running 64-bit Windows, so I'll use the triplet x64 Windows Static. I haven't tried building for any other platforms, so please don't ask me about that. I'm talking to you, Android users. I'm talking to you. I like you, though, Linux users. You're alright. Running this will download the dependencies we're going to need for building Sonic CD. Stuff like controls and music and whatnot. That's what that, like, Libfiora and SDL stuff is all about. Once that's all downloaded, we'll move the downloaded dependencies into Sonic CD's folder. If you have trouble finding them, they should be in VCPKG's folder inside Installed 
then time 64 window static, then include. And those folders just go plonk them in your Sonic CD directory. At least that's what I did and that's what worked, so hey, do that. Okay, we've got our dependencies, we've got all that. It's time for the fun part. Trying to build this damn decompilation. We're going to run CMake via the command line this time. When we installed it, it should have installed itself as a global command, so we should be able to use it within our Sonic CD folder. So we'll go in there, and we'll put in CMD in the address bar to bring back up the command prompt. This next command is a bit wordy, so I'd probably make a note of it in Notepad or something. Where the example command on the GitHub page says vcpkg root, add in the path to your vcpkg installation. And where it says chosen triplet, add in the platform you targeted earlier, like I have. So for example, my vcpkg root is on my Z drive in the GitHub folder, and my chosen triplet is the x64 window static thing from earlier. So yeah, once that is all filled in and proper, pop that into the command prompt and it will get to work building Sonic CD's files and stuff. So, a quick important note is there's some extra flags you can actually add on here pertaining to the Sonic stuff specifically. Um, and in particular, one of those flags is called Retro Disable Plus. By default, when you are building the decompilation, this is set to off and you don't need to play with it because that will mean that you will have access to the Sonic Origins Plus content, provided you're using an Origins Plus data file and all that once you've built it. You should only set this flag on if you are going to distribute this build that you are making, because just, just don't distribute builds with the Origins content enabled, that's just kind of dickheaded. It's what we call poking the burr in the Sonic community, aka we're trying not to get Sega to shut us down, so don't distribute builds of it disabled. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, if it's all looking good, uh, simply hit enter and it will get to work building Sonic CD. That said, it's not going to give you an EXE file, yet. Once it's built that and it says it's all done, simply type in CMake, dash dash build, build, dash dash config, release, like I have here, and then that will finally yield a playable exe in the build slash release folder. The config release thing technically isn't necessary, but it results in a smaller file size and I just find it's more reliable. I once accidentally released a debug mod and it just did not work, so yeah, I'd probably add release just to be safe. So, all we need to do now is add an RSDK file, a data file, from either the now delisted Steam release of Sonic CD, the mobile version of Sonic CD, or Sonic Origins Plus, and we'll have a working build of Sonic CD to play. You'll also want to grab the decompiled scripts from the GitHub page to make sure that you can use mods and stuff. At the time of writing this tutorial, the latest scripts are actually on a separate branch of the GitHub project called Origins-Plus. These scripts will be merged into the main branch, they just aren't at this time because of the Sonic hacking contest is like a week away and putting it on the main branch would be catastrophic for people trying to play mods at the hacking contest. If you're using a data file from Sonic Origins Plus specifically, it won't just work, unfortunately, due to some encryption on it. You're going to have to extract it first using Xanaries, I hope I pronounced that right, RSDK V5U Extract Tool, say that five times fast. Once that's done, pop the resulting data folder into your Sonic CD directory and it should boot up. Please note that for Origins data file specifically, it's very early days, so for example, to select Amy or Knuckles in the CDD comp, you'll need to get Megami's Additions mod, change your game type in settings.ini from 0 to 1, enable the dev menu so you can enable Megami's mod, you know, that sort of thing. You won't be able to drop Dash either, since that requires a flag to be set in the game config.bin via a hypothetical mod that I don't think exists yet. You also won't hear any audio if you're using an Origins data file, because Origins itself plays audio via a completely separate backend for some reason. You can just import the audio files from a non-Origins data file into the Origins data folder, and it'll work, save for the missing sounds for Amy and Knuckles. 
I speculate we might see mods to make this sort of thing less of a hassle in the future, but have reasonable expectations for now. Origins data files weren't meant to be run this way, so there's a bit of jank. Anyway, that's a quick crash course in building these decompilations. I am by no means an expert, in fact I'm pretty damn incompetent when it comes to Git and stuff like this, so it's, it's kind of a miracle I figured it out, but also if I can figure it out, you can absolutely figure it out. I believe in you. Um, it's it's a really good way to keep up with the decomp updates and stuff. Um, I've been doing this sort of thing with the Sonic Mania decomps since they came out, and I prefer doing that instead of just waiting for releases. Uh, this isn't actually how I build the Mania decomp at the minute, I just use Visual Studio for that, and it works totally fine. And I think theoretically that would work fine with this as well, but since this is the, ins the, the, the instructions that are on the page now, we might as well go with this method. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you out, and go play some Sonic CD. It's a good game. I don't care what all these new hipster Sonic fans say. Okay, tracker out. See ya.